Many have a feeling of hopelessness with all the things that are happening in our country. That feeling only happens when we lose our trust and faith in God. We must never stop believing that God will set situations right for us. God created an empathetic, caring side of life by giving us a caring nature that is vital for survival as shown by the bond between mother and child. That is our insurance policy that right will prevail. There's another natural law called survival of the fittest, which drives even the most humble to fight to the death in an effort to survive. That fight is different if we believe in a spiritual life. Winning at all cost and brute force in a corporal world is not sustainable. Winning through examples of truth, fairness, and integrity is what makes the world a better place. The human species realized thousands of years ago there are things that cannot be explained. As civilizations evolved, humanity found it necessary to believe in a God and his mysterious ways. The happenings of the last year forced true patriots who truly love our country to revert to survival of the fittest as the only remaining option. The enemy was the media, the weaponized public education system, the corrupt judiciary and deep state, the non-representative government, the cancel culture, the faux discrimination that staged these battles of good versus evil. Evil is easy to recognize and confront when it's obvious and ugly. Without prayer, evil disguises itself as virtue, attractive, easy, and inviting. In this age of immediate gratification is mainstreamed and instantly accessed through social media and network news. It is propagandized as the only logical way to think. There are no atheists in foxholes has never been truer. We all prayed this country would elect a president who loves the United States above self and loves the core values that made this the greatest country in history. There is a gray area between extreme good and extreme depravity. That is where true evil resides and difficult to identify without faith, hope, and trust in God. The slippery slope of entropy causes us to inadvertently slide into evil of this organization and chaos if we let it. For many, prayer is thought to be the only way to fight evil of dysfunctionality, incompetence, and corruption. But we cannot tolerate apathy by having us believe that prayer is the only thing we can do to stop evil. We must live and teach our core values and push the apathetic into action. Evil does not play fair. Entropy cannot be stopped while living in our finite time on earth. It can only be slowed through prayer and works on our part. We pray to keep us from, from, from forgetting what God's will is expecting of us. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.